At the beginning of this year, I feel like I saw an influx of a lot of tier lists. It was happening a lot, especially before Elden Ring came out. So I wanted to make a tier list, just a regular tier list originally. And I kind of figured out that I agree with most of the community. So I decided I'm going to be ranking the Dark Souls bosses based off of dateability. I don't really know what my definition of dateability is. I guess uh, someone I see myself being with, whether it's like a day or like a year, I guess, is like the scale I'm going to go off of. So <laughs> I wanted to be different. So here we go. Um, so first one, Champion Gundir, the uh, tutorial boss. Champion Gundir, I don't know, he's just a simple man. He's one of the most humanoid bosses, I think. I guess my main concern is his phase two. Like, is that hygienic? I get the feeling it's not. So he could be stinky. I feel like he might have bad hygiene. Um, maybe he isn't stinky. I don't know, I'm just concerned about the phase two. It seems kind of like musty energy. So I'm gonna put him in C. Cause maybe I can convince him to shower. So I guess it would be the same for uh, the other gun deer. So other gun deer is gonna go here as well. Vort of the Boreal Valley. Yeah, he like walks on all fours. That's kind of weird. I don't know, plus he's like, I don't know, he doesn't really have anything going for him. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't talk. He's weird. He's probably really cold, too, because he's like um, a frost boss. So I don't know how that would work, like with cuddling and, you know, intimacy. Um, I'm going to put him in F. There's nothing really romantic going on here. Cursed Rotted Great Wood. I don't think I have to say it. This is who he is. So this is like his tree leg. And this is his tree leg. So this is probably the best explanation I can give you as to why this guy's A tier dateability. Like it's insane. Like who designed this? It went through so many channels. It went through so many filters. Like everyone was okay with this. Nobody said anything. A tier for Cursed Rotted for sure. So up next, we have Crystal Sage. So I don't really know much about Crystal Sage. So I don't know, I wanna, I wanna say by the way, for someone who's put in a lot of hours into Dark Souls 3, I don't know almost anything about the lore. The Crystal Sage on the Crucifixion Woods trained the Undead Legion of Farron to use magic. Okay, so he's a good teacher. That's a good sign. Um, I'll give Crystal Sage a B. He's not on all fours. He's a good teacher. He teaches people. Abyssal Watchers. I get bad vibes from Abyssal Watchers. I don't like how he points at you in the cutscene. That's kind of, um, kind of aggro. It's a little, it's a little scary. They're humanoid, so that's, that's good. But there's like a lot of them, so how would that work? Like, would I have to date all of them? Would I have to be in a polygamous relationship with them? Would they date each other? Is that wrong? Are they related? I feel like it would have been an okay match, but I'm, I kind of have uh, trouble wrapping my head around dating like uh, multiple people and like majority of them are dead. So I'm gonna put him in D tier. Deacons of the Deep, same issue. Same issue, there's too many of them. And you know what, they're worse. They're worse than Abyssal Watchers. They're Abyssal Watchers, but not cool. So we're putting them in F tier. High Lord Wolnir. He's got drip. He's got a lot of drip. So you know he's got money. He's probably got a good job. I mean, he's like really big. And you know, he, there's a lot of skeletons around him, which is kind of creepy. And he's a skeleton. I'm sure he's really rich, so I'm just gonna put him in A tier. Old Demon King. I don't know how I feel about dating a demon. I'm gonna have to put him in. So he's not as bad as Deacon to the Deep. I would rather date 
Old Demon King, then Deacons of the Deep, and War of the Boreal Valley. At least he walks on two feet, so, you know, I can walk into a Starbucks with him and no one would think he was some weird kink or something. Pontiff Sullivan, I mean, he's like passing in the in the weird looks department, so I feel like also I can be in public with him and I don't have to worry about too many people staring. C tier. Who's next? Yorm the Giant? Um, let's look up some stuff about Yorm. I don't know why, but I'm getting like nice, nice guy vibes from Yorm. But let's see if there's anything interesting. While he now uses a giant machete type blade, he used to wield the blade in one hand and a shield in another. But after the death of someone he was trying to protect, he tossed his shield aside and added a notch on his giant machete. So he's not afraid of showing sadness. He's not afraid of being vulnerable. He threw away his shield when his friend died. You know what, he's really strong. He's a strong man. He's a man who can take anything besides a weapon that he leaves by his chair. So he's not really a smart man, but he's a gentle giant. You know, he's a cool dude. We're going to put him in C. Altridge has a prince sticking out of his mouth, right? So he has Gwendolyn sticking out of like, I don't know if it's his mouth. Oh, I forgot. Does he eat people? Altridge, and famous for his appetite for flesh, apparently had the desire to share with others his joy of imbibing the final shudders of life while luxurating in his victim's screams. Big red flags. He's a cannibal. He eats people. Well, okay, wait. Let's think about it. Because he has Gwendolyn sticking out of his mouth. And Gwendolyn is actually really hot. So I feel like if we kind of compromise, I give him a little piece of skin. He gives me a Gwendolyn kiss every now and then. Then I feel like we can probably work something out. At least for like a few months. B tier. Dancer of the Boreal Valley. All Outrider Knights are fated to turn into beasts. According to her armor's description, the armor is actually fused with her, quote-unquote, hide. So she's part beast, but you can't tell because her armor is really fucking cool. And it covers the fact that she could be like a, a half-animal, chimera-looking thing. Kind of hard because I really love the dancer. It's cool that she dances. She break dances while she beats your ass. We're gonna put her in D tier. She's cooler than Vort, but I don't know. I, I feel like I shouldn't. Dragon Slayer armor, I, if you're one of the two people that follow me on Twitter, you would know that I am very attracted to Dragon Slayer armor. I probably subliminally made this tier list just so I can rank him and talk about him a little bit and explain to people what my deal is. The main reason I I feel the way I feel about Dragon Slayer armor is he's pretty much just another Ornstein and I feel like everyone, whether they want to admit it or not, at least the Ornstein armor is very attractive and cool and it just says a lot about him and he's probably a really cool person and I wish he was real. So yeah, that's how I feel. S tier. Osiris? Um, Osiris? I've heard weird things about him. There's a baby crying in the background and I heard he crushes it. And they took it out because it was like so like graphic or whatever. People thought it was a bad idea. That's a rumor I heard, but I never fact checked it. I'm gonna have to put him in F tier. I don't know. I believe I believe that he crushed a baby. Ancient Wyvern, um, I think dragons are cool. I feel like I would date a dragon if it was as smart as me or smarter than me and could hold a conversation and it wasn't like dating like an animal or something or something weird like that. Like I don't I wouldn't mind dating a dragon in this hypothetical scenario. But Ancient Wyvern is doo doo tier of all the dragons. So <laughs> Nameless King, he's a king. He rides a dragon. Very cool. He's one of the hardest bosses in the game. It's got lightning. Lightning is my favorite element. 
A tier. I wanted to look at his hair really quick. I remember it looking really dry and unhealthy, but it actually looks pretty good. It looks like he does take care of it. He's just, he may be old, but I don't know how I feel about dating older men. So I'm gonna put him on B. Soul of Cinder, um, he's, a, he's a part of a lot of people, so he has different qualities, you know? He could have a lot of strong qualities, but that could also mean he has a lot of weak qualities as well. I'm gonna have to put Soul Cinder in C tier. He's probably just like an okay guy. Champion Grave Tender. So Champion Grave Tender has zero drip. He has zero drip. He doesn't wear shoes. That's kind of weird. There's a lot of wolves around him. That's kind of cool if you're a dog person. If you like dogs. Do I want to hang out with someone who just walks around barefoot? Like out of all the armor you could wear, out of all the greaves you can choose, you just choose to be barefoot. I'm gonna put him in C tier. I don't know how to feel about him. He's probably a cool dude. Like, do like I did when I was on Tinder, I did swipe right on the guys who had dogs just to talk about their dogs. So I would probably swipe right on Champion Grave Tender. Demon Prince. So I guess same situation with Old Demon King, except Demon Prince is two demons. I don't know how I feel about being in a polygamous relationship with two demon brothers. I think they're brothers, and I think that's weird. F tier. Sister Freed. So the religious ones, those are the freaks, first of all. And she got sister in her name. And she's a gilf? She's kind of hot. I'm trying to get a picture of her face. All right, so she is barefoot. And I cannot see her face at all because she covers it, so she could be ugly. Oh! I'm concerned also because she does have a simp. Her simp is Father Ariandel, and it's like a duo boss fight for, I think, like, um, maybe like a phase, right? So she has a simp. He might kill me. Yeah, she's a gilf. Um, she probably makes bomb ass cookies. She is barefoot. But we're gonna put her in B, B tier. Twin princes. Um, very weird. They're brothers. I think one of them might be a child. F tier. Slave and I Gale. Um, I think he's a simp also, isn't he? He is the same missionary sent out by the painting woman to bring the blood of the dark soul for her canvas. So he is a simp for the painting woman. I don't know if he would be down to have something serious with me because he is into the painting woman, the painting girl. I'll put him in D tier. Just cause he's not as bad as the F tier as I have right now, but I don't think he's a good pick. Half light? Well, I'm also half light and I think I'm really cool, so. Okay, and last but not least, we have Dark Eater Meteor. He's a cool dragon. He's one of the coolest dragons. He's hard as fuck. I don't understand how people beat him. I don't know how I would be dating a dragon. Like, we would have to work out some stuff. We would have to talk about, like, specific stuff. Like, how stuff is gonna go. Am I also gonna use you as a car? What it, What's allowed in a dragon-human relationship? Okay. So, that's my tier list. I mean, what would you think about dating Dark Souls bosses? I don't think you would put most of them in S tier. I don't. A lot of them look like they need a shower. A lot of them look like, you know, they'd be kind of mean to me. Yeah, that's my tier list. I stand by it. I don't think I want to change anything, honestly. I think I pretty much hit the nail on the head. So tell me in the comments. I stream on Twitch. I try to stream twice a week. Um, sometimes life happens and I'm not able to stream twice a week, but I try to stream on Saturdays. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Bye. Bye. Bye.